What's going on? It's the Rap Nerd, and I am here today to review Sonic the Hedgehog. So I just saw this movie, right? And um, I'm going to be honest. I don't really know how to feel about this movie. I'm like dead smack in the middle. I don't think it was great, but I don't think it was trash either. It, it's like right, right there for me. And I don't know if it's because I am a Sonic fanboy. Like, I, I used to have the games on Sega. Um, I used to have even the newer games that were like on Xbox and on GameCube, Sonic Adventures 1 and 2. And I have still at my house now the comic books that used to come out back in the 90s regarding Sonic and everybody else in the group, Knuckles, Tails, all that kind of stuff. So I think it could be the fanboy in me that knows about this world so heavily that makes me kind of like, mm. because I get I get what they were trying to do. You know, you want to introduce the character that gave us the backstory at the beginning and I get it, you know, but if you play the Sonic game, read the comic books, whatever, you know that humans aren't really that heavily involved with anything. I mean, they're there, but they're not the focus outside of Robotnik. And this movie felt like one of those films that knowing the hero or the draw of the movie is a CGI character, they kind of just place humans around to do stuff to move the story along because it is a live action movie and you can't just have it just Sonic. And again, that part wasn't bad, but to me, it just took up more time than what it needed to. Like the whole plot of the story and what's needed to happen, I feel like it's drawn out because of wanting to interject the humans into it. Sonic is who he is, which is dope. Robotnik is the character he is. Jim Carrey did an excellent job. I feel like this is 90s Jim Carrey, like him playing the Riddler, like bonkers. Like this is the performance he gave to it. And you could tell that he was really, really going all the way in with trying to show his intelligence and his insanity while playing the character. You don't really see Sonic do a lot. I mean, you see him run and dodge things, and but it's at a minimal amount. They do one thing specifically that happens in a couple scenes that I've seen done before. So watching them, I'm just kind of like, I'm not gonna say what it is, but when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's been done in a few other movies, but I think that they executed it much better in those movies than they do here. You know, it's really, really adolescent to me. You can tell this is more along the lines for like, I can't say kids, but it just it's, it's just really kiddy to me. This movie just lacks any type of depth. Like there's none to be found. Everything is just surface level. What you see is what you get. And I'm not saying every film has to have that, but I feel like it made it hard for me to really like connect, connect to the movie. Just nothing really drew me in like to have me like, I'm sitting here watching it just in my head thinking, and I, and I know I hate to do this. I'm, I'm not basing the movie off of expectations. And that's why I say I'm kind of in the middle. If I'm in the middle because of my expectations of what I wanted to see, I, I would never say a movie's bad because I don't think it was bad. It's just, I was expecting just, more because there are so many things that they can do with Sonic. I mean, you have the Chaos Emeralds, which to me is one of the best arcs of Sonic. And I get it, this is the first movie. I understand that. But there's just, there's a lot that comes with the world of Sonic that I feel like they could have done to really open it up. I feel like this movie was playing it really safe. Just, just be like, okay, let's introduce this character, see how it does. And then if we do get greenlit for a sequel, we'll start to dive in a little deeper. It almost feels like the first Transformers, but toned down though, because the first Transformers, I feel like when you did see the Transformers on screen and they were doing a thing, it was like, oh, wow, this is amazing. I never got that from this movie. I didn't get one thing where I was like, oh, this is amazing. This is super amazing to see. So I'm lukewarm with this movie. The plot, again, is really convenient. You know, having the humans there to do things and make things happen, I think, the whole reason for this movie happening is because of convenient things and it's just like, yeah, so I mean, that's all I really got to say. If you're going to see it, let me know what you think. Maybe you can offer some different perspective because I don't think I'm going to watch rewatch this again, personally, but I mean, that's, that's all I got. Um, Rap Nerd is out.